Hello guys, welcome back. So far what we have done is we created a custom object knowledge articles. In that custom object, we store different types of issues that are there with the iPhone and then the solutions related to them. Then in the next step, what we did is we created a prompt template triggered flow. And in that prompt template triggered flow, it is going to be called from a prompt template. Okay, as the name indicates, prompt template trigger flow means this flow will be invoked from the prompt template. And uh, what we are doing in this flow is we are fetching the knowledge article and not all knowledge articles, we are fetching whose issue matches the subject of the case. So when we are creating a case, we are going to use the exact same name based on the issue type and then it is going to fetch the knowledge article and that knowledge article, we are passing it back to our prompt. So our prompt is going to use this solution and come up with a response, okay? So now I'm gonna go over to the prompt builder and uh, we'll click on new prompt template and what type of prompt template you want to create it i want to create a field generation right because in the case description field in the there's a field available called description on the case object i want to populate the data of what type of case it is and also what is the recommended solution for that case okay and where is that solution going to come from from my knowledge article so field generation i'm going to say populate case description with case details and solution so here that is the description now object case again i'm going to go ahead and use case here and which field that i want to populate the data is the description field hit next here and we are ready okay so here is asking me prompt template workspace so i'm going to say provide me a recommended solution from the knowledge article based on the case details. Okay, very simple. Provide me recommended solution from the knowledge articles based on the case details. This is what I'm doing. Now, what details I'm going to say? Let's say we give case number, case type. Let's say this is just additional information. Case priority, case subject, and then that is it. Now here I'm going to say a solution. Now where is the solution going to come from? Solution is going to come from the flow. How do I access the flow? That is what I wanted to show you. So there is an option called flows available and one flow is available which is called pass case solution to prompt template. This is the flow. Okay, so solution is going to come from this. You don't have to use the word solution here. All I'm saying is please get some information from this flow as well. Case number, very simple. It is available on the case. We have a field called case number. So we're going to get that from here. There is a field called type as well. So we're going to go ahead and refer the type. This is just additional information to kind of get a better response. Okay, you don't have to pass in all this information. You could have just passed the subject and that should be it. Okay, priority and the subject is which is going to match my issue type. Okay, so here I'm going to go to the case and the subject. Okay, so subject is there, flow is there. Th these are the only two key information. Now the passing of the subject over to the flow, we are not doing it. We are not manually passing anything. It will automatically look at the flow. It will see, okay, the issue type matches the subject. I have the subject. Is there a knowledge article? All of this is happening behind the scene. All of this is happening behind the scene. I'm not passing the subject to all I'm passing is the case. Here I'm going to pass my case. Before we do that, let's save it and activate it. And we have a search cases. Before that, I need to create a case, right? So I'm gonna go over and let's say this is the issue type, iPhone not charging, okay? I'm gonna go over to the cases and create a brand new case. And here the subject is the most important. So subject is this one. I'm not populating description because that is the field will get populated. Priority is high, case origin is email, contact, you can put whatever you want, Kristen Strong here, account name Kristen Strong, type is mechanical, case reason is performance, whatever, okay, product is, we're not going to choose product and that's it. So this is our case that is there. Now, right now, iPhone not charging. Now, there is a matching knowledge article with this subject, right? So here, we're going to go to the iPhone not charging and I'm going to get the case number here, copy this case number 
and this is the case number I'm going to pass it over here and now I'm going to go ahead and do this and preview it. I'm going to use a different model because this one gives a better response. Open AI GPT-4. I'm going to go ahead and do save as again, save as a new version, activate it and preview it. Now it is going to look at the subject of the case. It is going to find me the matching knowledge article, give me the solution. So here it is says, it says, Based on the case details, the recommended solution is as follows. For iPhone 8 and earlier model, inspect the charging cable and adapter for any damage. Clean the charging port gently with a soft brush and by restarting the iPhone. Does it matches to my knowledge article? Let's check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and open the knowledge article, go over to my knowledge article and look for the same issue, which is this one was the one, right? iPhone not charging. So there is a... I believe this one, iPhone not charging. iPhone 8 and earlier, check the charging cable and adapter for damage, clean the charging. This is exactly what it pulled up, right? Now here, this is exactly what it pulled up for iPhone 10 and later models. You can see here for iPhone 10 and later models, follow the same steps. Additionally, try wireless charging if capable. So you can see it looked at the knowledge article, fetched that information and did it. Here I can say something like this, provide me the solution in 100 words only now if i go ahead and do this save as save as a new template activate it and save and preview now it is going to give me a solution it is going to basically only give based on this recommendation based on the solution from the knowledge article it is going to only provide 100 words summary Based on the case details, the recommended solution for an iPhone not charging is as follows. For iPhone 8 and earlier, inspect the charging cable and adapter for any damage and clean the charging port with a soft brush. Restart the iPhone. For iPhone 10 and later, follow the same steps and try wireless charging if available. Now, this is the response that came back. So this is how you invoke a flow from your template. And what the flow is doing? Fetching me the knowledge article. So the whole passing of the subject over to the flow, all of this is happening behind the scene. We didn't do anything. We created a flow saying that, okay, wherever the issue type matches the case subject, fetch the knowledge article, pass the knowledge article to the prompt. In the prompt, all we're doing is calling the flow. That's it. Everything is happening behind the scene. Now, how do I add this field over to my case record page? Very simple. We have done this already when we were talking about the account summary, but we can do it over again. So what I'll do is I'll go over to the case record right now in the description field, nothing is there and there is only a pencil icon. We need to upgrade this form. So I'll go to the edit page. We will upgrade it. So we'll go to the select the details first and upgrade it. We'll select the details and you can configure record details upgrade now click on that next select the case layout finish okay so this is done then we need to make sure our case description right so we'll go over to the description field and we'll say the response of this the, it will populate it with the prompt template now which is the template this is the template populate case description with case details. Is this the one case details and solution? Yes, this is the one hit save. Make sure it is activated. You have set it as org default. So we are good. Close it. Now, if I go back to my case, I should see wait for a few minutes. If you don't see the magic van next to the description, so you can see here, this is your description and it has that and it is going to look at and going to give you the response analyzing it it says for iphone 10 8 and earlier inspect the charging so it gave me and i can use this and save it so my description has been populated so this is how you can call a flow from your template and the purpose is if there are information that is not available in the related list, if that information is not available in your object, you can use flow to fetch that additional pieces of information and then show it within your prompt response. Okay. So I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.